This video was created for the Joey Sewer Weekly Warframe Show. To see the entire show, click the icon right here or find a playlist and channel at the end of the video. It's by far one of my favorite Warframe shows made by a bunch of amazing creators, so be sure to check it out. With that being said, let's jump into this week's 2 Minute Slash Dash. You know, sometimes you just gotta do things a little bit differently. Take it easy, maybe relax, don't worry about all those damage numbers. That's why today we're going to be talking about one of my absolute favorite activities in Warframe. Fighting. Um, it says fishing here. Wait, what? Yeah, definitely fishing, not fighting. Oh, sh Welcome back everyone to another 2 minute slash dash. It's so great to see all of your smiling faces again, though I can't actually see you, I only see this camera here, but I hope that you're all happy for today, because today we're talking about fishing. Fishing is a somewhat new mechanic that was introduced with the Plains of Eidolon and continued with Fortuna. It's pretty straightforward, you go to High Lock or the business, buy a spear and boom, you're ready to start fishing. Just approach the water, pull out the spear from your gear and fish as much as you want. Simple, right? Well, see you next week, and ho ho ho, if only that was all there is to it. But no, Warframe actually has a wide variety of fish species that all have different requirements if you want to catch them. One thing you might have noticed is the difference in spears, with two spears in Fortuna and three in Cedars. The spears in Fortuna don't have that much of a difference, with the Stana only adding an AoE stun on a successful catch, but the planes have respectively an impact, puncture, and slash base spear, so be sure to use these wisely. Once you have the correct spear for your fish, you want to be sure of your location, as there are also different species in different types of waters. From oceans, to lakes, to ponds, to caves, to whatever this puddle here is. I don't care how long I have to stand here, I will find whatever fish is in here. Oh, um... Hey there! Now some fish require bait that you have to toss into these bubbly or colored areas called hotspots. They can be kinda tough to find, so make sure you look out for them. You can buy the bait at High Lock or the Business, and they'll also have Luminous Dye that lights up the fish so you can more easily catch them. But before you run out to buy all of it, let me introduce you to Warframe's latest sentinel, Oxalus. Oxalus is here to assist you with fishing, especially with a mod called Scan Aquatic Lifeforms. This mod lights up the fish all by itself, so you don't need to get the dye anymore, and... It also shows off hotspots within a range of 100 meters on your minimap with this handy dandy little fish icon, which is honestly just a little bit easier if you're only going out to fish. If you want to use the dome, take off Animal Instinct from your build, as these two mods cannot be activated at the same time and will definitely conflict. Was that two minutes? I feel like we actually made it today. Have fun fishing out there, Tenno, and I will see you all next time.